Blaise Pascal is a figure who's intrigued me for many years. I first read him as a teenager, I think it was, many years ago when I read the Pensée. Uh, I then did more work on him when I did my doctoral studies back in the 1990s and always thought that one day I will come back and write a, a biography of him. And so for the last couple of years, I've been uh, focusing on doing that very thing. I think the reason why I wrote it is a number of reasons. Number one, because he's such an interesting person. Uh, he was a polymath. He's a a physicist, a, ge a mathematician, an inventor, an entrepreneur, a philosopher, a theologian. He had his fingers in so many different pies that his, his story is just fascinating at the kind of cusp of the modern world in its own right. He's also a very quotable figure. Uh, many of us know quotes from Pascal. We might have heard of the, the God of the Philosophers. We might have heard that line that um, the heart has its reasons of which reason knows nothing or that uh, the main human problem is our inability to stay quietly in a room. All that's Pascal. Uh, but also because his condi his description of the human condition is as kind of evocative and haunting as any you might uh, find anywhere else. And he manages to find a really innovative, interesting way of introducing Christianity to a world that often finds that hard to understand and finds a life confusing and difficult as well. So Pascal is a figure I've found fascinating. I've really enjoyed telling the story and I hope you enjoy reading it as much as I've enjoyed writing it.